Good morning. Welcome to another ASMR at five. One second. This one is Sumatra. Hand grind the beans, boil the water, let it sit for a minute, pour it into the French press, let it wait about four minutes. Best part of the morning right here. I was thinking about <clears throat> my beard. I woke up with a perfect beard today. And it's at that length now where I really can't do anything to mess it up. And I posted a picture on Instagram when the beard was about down to here. Like a, maybe an inch and a half. Just barely touching like a bow tie. If I was wearing a bow tie, I'd just be barely touching the bow tie. And that's when it really started being a pain in the neck. And I really didn't enjoy and love the beard. For me, this is my experience. Until it got down to my third button. And for most people, the third button, like on a dress shirt, would be... Like, here's a pocket on my... This is my bathrobe. I just got up. I make my coffee. For those of you that are joining for the first time, I get up at 4.30. And I usually start recording at about 5 a.m. Make my coffee. And we have a little chat in the morning. So, that's why I'm in a robe. That's why you see an old guy in a robe. There's no special makeup. The hair and makeup department <laughs> is not functional at this time of the day. So here's like the top of the pocket, which is about the same level as like the pocket on a dress shirt. So it's usually one, two, three. So like right here. When my beard got down to about the third button top of a pocket length. Then it was get up and literally just go like that and just kind of shook into place. From here, what I have now, till here, was a pain in the ass because it was brushing, blow drying, and I'm just, just not into that. Some guys are, I'm not being judgmental. But my goal in life is to spend less time in front of the mirror, even though it's funny, I work in front of a mirror for a living, but personally. But this is so no maintenance, it's just crazy. It's, it's insane, just co-wash it. You beard guys know what I'm talking about. This is what I want to talk about this morning, is I want to talk about, this is the first video I've done in, I think, a week. Although I'm active on other social media platforms, I had hurt my back, and you guys know I'm in the gym three times a week, supplementing, lost weight, muscling up, even though for some of you new people, it looks like an old guy in a bathrobe sitting at a kitchen table in front of an oil lamp, which it is. <laughs> but here's the deal. I had hurt myself just from turning a certain way. I wish I could say that I hurt myself by uh, deadlifting 675 pounds, or I was replacing an engine in my Mustang 
it was one of those weird things. I was sitting on the edge of my bed and I reached down to get a shoe and I just pulled something. And I'm like, son of a... And I got up and I was like tilted, like in pain. And for a week I was walking with a tilt. I was in pain. And I felt, I felt my body pulling forward, like hunched in order and then tilted in order just to relieve the pain. Very weird. And I wasn't in the gym for over a week lifting. I would go to the gym. I go to Planet Fitness where they have these uh, hydro massage beds. And I would go after work and it's like a fire hose just, you know, spraying back and forth on your back. Like a 10 minute session. At about day two, Advil wasn't enough. And you know if you hurt your back. Now, you guys that are trainers and doctors, physical therapists, and I know I have a lot of people in that field, I was hurting. And by day number two, a bunch of other muscles were hurting, and I had to take muscle relaxers. And it was not fun. So I was taking muscle relaxers. I started taking them on the second day. And within six hours, I was walking a little more upright and not as tilted. Even the girls at the salon were saying, like, man, are you in pain or something? Because I was walking very carefully. The way my right foot was hitting the ground when I walked, I was, it was like I was placing it carefully as to not cause any pain or shock to the to like just right above like right above my right butt cheek that area just pain not pain to the touch but pain like when I moved I'm still feeling a little bit but I was on muscle relaxers for a week twice a day and man they were knocking me out literally just knocking me out and, and I was taking Advil for anti-inflammatory effects. But here's the thing. After about five days on that regimen, I started uh, feeling the effects of the medication in my body and in my personality. It was dulling me, number one. My sleep was jacked up. And I was off. Something was off. And it just made me think, like, okay, can I do this without the medication? Because literally, it was the medication that was helping me stand up straight. Otherwise, I was a little bit hunched over and tilted. Weird. And I went back to the gym for the first time yesterday, and I was so careful. I was just, it was freaking me out, man. If I re-injure this, because I stand on my feet for a living not only doing hair, but part of my income is social media as well and making videos, which I haven't done in several days. And it bothered me. So I started stretching in the shower, like I'd be in the shower, put it on hot, turn around and let the, the hot water go down my back. And then I would just slowly do stretching exercises. And that was a little bit of a relief. That was nice. But this was after I stopped the muscle relaxers and taking the Advil. And it, it made me dull, a little bit off, a little bit edgy, because it was interesting. One of the things that I noticed, how do I know that? Because I just spent like four or five days lashing out at haters. People just leave sometimes messages that you cannot believe. You, If I read some of these things out loud, you would... I'm over it by about a year and a half. But I felt like, almost like sensitive, not sensitive to criticism. That sounds like I'm a puss, because I'm, I'm not. But I was... 
reacting and not responding. Does that make sense? When you react and not respond. Reacting is just like, you know, responding is you take a breath, you think about it, use common sense, appropriate, proportional responses. Mm -mm. And, I, and I learned something about my own body and how my body is connected to my brain and the importance of keeping the body in shape, minimizing the junk, the pharmaceuticals. And I know there's some people that need pharmaceuticals to live, and I'm not criticizing that. And I thought to myself, there are people who live like this. And I had a moment of empathy for people that stayed. <laughs> it wasn't fleeting. It was a moment of empathy. I'm looking at the monitor right now as I'm talking and I'm watching my mouth move because I can't hear myself. And I hope to be starting speech therapy real soon to actually get my... If I completely lose my hearing, like 100% if, it, if it's gone, because right now it's really gone, like gone, gone. Like 75% gone. And to the point where I can't hear my voice. So I have to literally remember how the mouth moves and remind myself to kind of over enunciate. But there are people who live on pain medication and muscle relaxers because of pain. And it just made me think, gosh, I wish there was something that the medical world can do. And I know CBD and THC are wonderful things for people and can help mitigate some pain. And I want people to start thinking about natural methods that the earth provides for healing. I'm not talking about getting high. I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm talking about the medical use of marijuana. I can't imagine going any more than four or five days on pain medications and muscle relaxers. And I know there are no long-term side effects of using cannabis for pain. Relieving some, maybe not eliminating, but at least relieving it. There might be a little bit of short-term memory loss or a little bit of, uh, like, duh, you know, like stonerism. But nothing like the pharmaceutical stuff. Nothing like it. Where you just lose yourself. And I know there's a lot of people that wake up in the morning and take a handful of pills. Oh my gosh. That's got to be horrible. So I just wanted to share that. A moment of empathy for people who are on medication and in pain. I don't know how you do it. Four to five days was, was enough for me. Well, you have a good day. That's all for today. Enjoy your coffee, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.